<laughs> Lana. 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 Lana! Danger zone. <laughs> Welcome to the final wager. I'm Keith Williams, and I went wild when those two categories came up. As you know, I'm a huge Archer fan, and it's kind of disappointed it was about archery, people who are archers. But, you know, it still gave me a huge laugh, and I'm sure it gave a lot of you a big laugh, too. Uh, speaking of archers, that Daily Double was an excellent clue that had a little hint in it. And tomorrow at 2 Eastern, 11 Pacific... Randy Gold and I are going to talk about some tips for the Jeopardy contestant exam that's coming up this next week. So go to the final wager and uh, details will be there. You can watch it live, you can participate, chat with us, ask questions, or watch the replay later on. Should be a lot of fun and uh, I hope you'll join us. But we do have a game to talk about now and uh, Fred. I think he was sandbagging that first round. I kind of given up hope for him a little bit toward the end of Jeopardy round. Dug himself into a hole and then got back out and then up and then back down again. Sorry, with zero. And then he nailed two or three $2,000 clues that, and a couple of which I'd never heard of. And, uh, you know, got himself in the lead, made that wager on the Daily Double that I thought might result in a tie heading into final again. And we would. See what happened this time, but uh, Kyle's got the lead, 10,400, 400 dollars lead over Fred Demi, 3,200, not out of it, but uh, Fred, with a good wager, can keep her out of it. Uh, oh, I'm wearing this hat because of the snowstorm. I had to dig out some old stuff, figured I'd you know break it in a little bit. Fred doubles up, he's got 20,000, so Kyle, 9,600. She's wrong, 8... 2400 max out of Demi. Fred, uh, well, 9200, but well, let's not get too excited about that. It's, uh, I don't like that wager at all. What I do like is if Demi doubles up 6400 and Fred wages to stay above that, max of 3600. And uh, that easily covers an unsafe wager by Kyle. If uh, <clears throat> Kyle wants to go strategic, is the shortest conjecture situation, the strong form, if you want to get technical. Uh, 3200 would be her wager. I don't like that at all, though, because uh, Fred could just respond with a $2,800 wager and then win on the double miss. So all that Kyle should really do is go big for the lockout, or if she wants to force Fred to get it right, no more than 399 If... Uh, <clears throat> Fred wants to go for this range, which I think he should. He should wager at least 800 to cover that $400 wager out of Kyle. I guess 801 to be safe. And uh, at the very worst, don't wager this much. Still make Demi get it right, so that's going to be 6,800. And uh, all right, Ancient World. Looking forward to this one. I think I got a good handle on this. I just started reading uh, The Idiot's Guide to Mythology, so. Oops, let's run the TV on first. So if this is a mythology club, that might be sunk, but if it's a history club, probably going to not get good hopes for it. Whenever you're ready, TV. All these drums. We are going back, back, back to ancient history for our final today, and here is the clue. Pantites sent to recruit troops, and Aristodemus sent off to treat his eye disease were the only known Greeks oh, okay. to survive this event. 30 seconds later. Good luck. So where did a lot of Greek people die? Greek soldiers that are in there. The 300. I have to think of Battle for my play, which means hot something. I'll tell you that much. Now we get ready to see what the wagers were. And see if Kyle breaks our drought of four time champs. Demi, you were in there like a shot, writing your response very quickly to this final. Let's take a look and see if it's the right response. 
It is indeed the Battle of Thermopylae. And you will have to watch. Uh, uh, the score is 6,400 to your left. Fred Vaughn. He was in second place with 10,000, and that total will go up. Oh, nice. Because he is right. Also, how much will it go up? 6,000. He's in the lead with 16,000. Yeah. Come to our champion, Kyle Webb. Three day champ. Leading today, but did she get the right response? No, and no. No, so it's going to cost her how much money? Ten thousand. She'll finish in third place today, and we have a new champion, Fred Vaughn. Man. Over to the <laughs> oh, Alex. Alex, you. Feed. <laughs> well, all right. All right, that's a good wager out of Kyle. Uh, not a good wager out of Demi and uh, uh, Fred. I'm gonna have to give him a pink on that one, I think. Although he does uh, does get a slightly better, uh, slightly better paycheck out of this. It would have cost him the game, and Demi would have won this had he missed. But and yeah, nice comeback, Fred. Kyle, great run. It was a lot of fun watching you. And I uh, actually loved all of your interview segments, which is unusual for, uh, I guess, anyone who's on the show because most interview segments are terrible. Speaking from experience, the guy who, uh, when I talk about my pair of headphones once, jeez, my life is so boring back when I was 18 or 19. All right, well, the streak, the drought continues. But maybe Fred will put an end to it, shake those nerves off on Monday, and see if he can start rolling from the get-go. If you're in the path of the storm, best of luck to you. Hope it all goes well. And uh, either way, if you got power, or if you're somewhere else, I hope you can join us tomorrow, 2 o'clock Eastern, 11 o'clock Pacific, for our test preview, and uh, get a few tips to do well in the coming week. Hope to see you then. If not, we'll see you Monday right here on The Final Wager.